XRP is starting to show you that it is breaking higher. And it's breaking higher from a pattern which has been valid from a year. And if you do put that onto a line chart, it's clear, it's crystal, you're breaking higher. Weekly and monthly candle closes are about to confirm something. Especially the monthly, when you're on this one here, what you're watching is low noise, high probability in front of you. We just have 24 hours for this monthly candle. And that monthly candle showing you I'm breaking higher means a lot. Now, is it possible that monthly breakout can consolidate before it goes up? For sure, that can happen. While the market in itself is slow, if XRP breaks higher, this can be the next big leg. Welcome to the Sinovic Investor Family, where the normal retail guys get to learn how to become the next top 10% of this world by adapting the right moves at the right time. People went trimming off as we went up close to 69, 70, because they were given and educated the best ideas in the Sinovic Investor Family. And as you can see, they are all watching it. They are all following this. And we've been consistent. We've been giving you guys the right direction. Instead, there are some deviations. The pattern formation was a little bit different. The shoulder went a little bit higher than I expected. But right now, the outcome is the same. Whatever you're watching in front of you and whatever we followed through, it's now playing out well enough. XRP is slowly breaking to the upside. But keep this in mind, this can be considered as the standard deviation line, which is connecting your wicks from this end, 2023 July, towards the current time. So we had an intermediate touch there, March 2024. So for a year, you kept that as a trend line standard deviation which if you argue is close enough now a break of 0.68.7 is going to give you much more volatility to the upside but while bitcoin in itself is playing out with this price structure which we have all seen many times and we know how historically that pattern plays out what the outcome is for an evening star. We have seen that multiple times in different assets. However, in Bitcoin, the whales have trapped people last time like this. You got a reversal signal with three candle reversal signal back in October 2021. Still, the price went a little bit further to the upside, trapping people before starting to drop. So, this is whales. This is financial institutions. We are swimming with them. So you need to understand what the odds are and abide by those rules. You got the negative divergence. That's for sure. We kind of have that clear in front of us. And we are watching how the market is playing out. And it's not just how the market is playing out. It's also watching where we are. So where we came from, and where exactly we are going now is important. You broke the moving average back to the upside. You're trying to hold on to that. On a three-day chart, it shows you it has been around 10 days where we are still holding on to that trend line. And we are above that, which means we are trying to pull that moving average back to the upside. Can we do that is the biggest question. Because on a short term, say a daily chart here, gives you the idea that we've been volatile. However, the negative divergence is clear. So on a daily, you have the price going up, the RSI going the other direction. You go on to Ether to get a little bit more clarity on the side of altcoins, and it's like, okay, it's below the moving average. 
on a daily chart, it's below the moving average and it is getting rejected. On a three-day chart, it's testing the moving average and getting rejected. So daily and three-day is slow for Ether as an asset. Now we go on to the weekly. Same, you went back up, tested the weekly 21-day moving average, got rejected. So the odds for Ether to come back down to 3,000, 2,800 to make a bottom is higher. It's already showing you that. But the benefit would be, okay, XRP already went up a little bit. So when all of the, these assets actually drop, if that happens, XRP may not drop that low. If you get to buy this asset at 0.5, think about that. It's a huge opportunity. Now the price is at 0.63. And if you do see that exact same asset coming down, giving you an opportunity, testing the 0.5, 0.53 level, that's the moving average, 21 day moving average on a weekly, that is going to be something you'll have to take account to. Keep note of that price action. Because remember, when you go on XRP to Bitcoin chart on a long term, you don't have to be micro on this. You can take a weekly chart, you can go macro. This is kind of what you're watching. The downtrend has been invalidated. The moving average, which we broke above previously back in 2022, 2023, now we are breaking that back up. It's been almost a year since we did that before. And now you're watching that. And it's on a weekly. Say you are super conservative about this particular asset. You want to stay on the safer side. You go to a monthly chart. Agreed? Fine. What do you see there? You have room to test the monthly moving average, which is kind of like you have still another 50, 60 person rally to the upside. Great. So if this asset is about to move against Bitcoin, that makes a lot of sense now. But it's not only about that. It's about the macro structure. What do I mean? This trend line. If you break that, what are you watching in front of you? That I would argue is the critical point which we would be breaking through against Bitcoin because it's been a while since XRP did something crazy like this. 10x, 20x against Bitcoin. And if you're about to break through this point, ah, yeah, we are at that point. It's been a long time since that party notification invitation was sent to us. We've been there at the location for a long time and now it's showing you I'm bouncing back and the odds of that party starting here is increasing. Fine. You'll have to now zoom in to see how exactly this is playing out. So on the weekly, the structure looks really bullish. You are above 50 on the RSI side. Great. You go on at three day, you are getting close to 70. Historically, 70 plus is where the price action go crazy. There will be a lot of different opinion in the market, but just look at the RSI. If the daily is entering 70, if the three days entering 70, if the weekly is about to enter 70, that's no questions asked. That's the market saying to you that I'm about to ride higher. If you want to join the party, you can. If not, it's up to you. This is what the market is saying. Fine. Now the general structure, the macro structure. Because for those who love XRP, that's what it matters. Now you come on to the MACD and you're looking at the MACD. The MACD is about to cross to the downside. On an uptrend, when that happens, it's forming a local low. Uh-huh. There is a higher possibility for that. Now you go on a three-day. And the three-day is showing you I'm crossing to the upside in an uptrend. So what is it going to be? Right? That's where I say it's short-term correction. It's not a macro correction. It's a short-term correction. Your trend is still to the upside. So the whales can do any kind of stupid moves. If they want to trap more liquidity and more retail, what, see, if I'm a whale in this asset and I want to really hurt the retail, what would I do? I give them more hope. 
saying, okay, I'm forming a higher low and I'm going up. They would actually jump in heavy. And that's where I reverse it saying, no, I'm forming a lower high and I'm breaking this. If I'm a whale, I would do something like this to trap a lot of people. But I'm not a Bitcoin whale and I don't know what these financial institutions will do. But I anticipate something like this, which is coming our way. Maybe it's 58 as a bottom. Maybe it's 60 as a bottom. But from the current price, you will see this. But on the fundamentals, but on the macro, on the current FA side, you know what you're watching. Sandman actually gives you correctly. Those who are holding 10,000 plus XRP is increasing. And they use the term skyrocketed in just five weeks. Huh. That's around 280,000 shark and whale addresses. That's not a small deal, guys. Yeah, agreed. We all have five, six different accounts where we save our assets. So yeah, divide that by five. Divide that by six. It's okay. We still have 50,000 sharks, whales in XRP, some of them with 200, 500, a million and above XRP. So they are buying thinking what? The price is about to drop? No, they think in the next three months, in the next six months, in a year from now, the price of this asset is going to be through the sky. So they're not thinking it's going to go down. If so, they wouldn't buy here. Right? So the thought process of people coming into that asset is strong. And it's not only for XRP. We are watching the utility side of the crypto market, the blockchain, the distributor ledger. It's working. And institutions, as you can see from BlackRock, is entering this into this ecosystem very strong. And on the other side, they are exiting something. Large cap stocks. And they are moving in way crypto so they do see what's coming so any micro drop here should not shake you out of this market rather it should give you massive opportunity and you should double down on it and if you think like okay there is a lot of different assets in the market and i'm confused scientific investor family is there for you we are updating each and every asset which you have in your portfolio so that in a week you get 80 to 100 posts, 80 to 100 different assets to go through and understand, okay, that's good. This one doesn't look good. So you kind of get to take the best educated decision for your portfolio and you can see the history. What we see, what we say and how things play out, you can kind of get an idea by watching through this you can use the link in the description to reach the scientific investor family and join 1200 plus members and ride this wave to the upside so guys if you haven't smashed the like button please do me a favor obliterate that one i'll meet you guys on the next video bye for now